And seeking medical and legal services for the LGBTQ community can be costly and risky. The organization Out Memphis seeks to make those resources safe and accessible by hosting the first Mid-South Transgender Resource Fair happening tomorrow. Being transgender is, it's not something that's a choice. It's something that you are. The choice to transition is a separate thing. To understand a different life than your own, imagine putting yourself in someone else's shoes. My transition started when I was in my early 40s. Sure, I did five years for me in transitioning. So within the five years that I have, everything have become more open and available. Lena Chipman and Malachi Allen share an experience with more than a million transgender people in America, a path traveled by many with few places to go. The hardest part was figuring out how to do it. Um, the only thing that I had when I started out was YouTube and Google, and I didn't really know many to reach out to. They've joined forces through the Out Memphis and Memphis Trans Love organizations for the first Mid-South Transgender Resource Fair. All those phone calls we get, all those things people are looking for, if people can come to this, it's kind of like a hopefully maybe a little bit of a one-stop shop. We have um, doc like physicians, regular physicians, surgeons, we have um, barbers, we have uh, a fitting place is going to be there doing bra fitting. There will also be document changes in legal assistance, hair removal shops, a nail salon, and vaccines for COVID-19, monkeypox, and the flu. These are life-saving um, resources. All in an effort to make sure no one else transitions alone. It takes you back to that. It takes a village. Uh, so this is like our village that we're taking them in to help them the right way. While the resource fair is a free event, it starts tomorrow. That's Saturday from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Black Lodge off Cleveland Street. A free dinner and after party will follow.